How's it going, Poke fans? I'm your boy, Trainer Sin, signing in. Hope you guys are all having a great day. In this video, I had to go over the question, when will the McDonald's 25th anniversary cards come over to Canada? Because I've been getting this question a lot, and I thought, hey, let's make a video and help you guys out. All right, first of all, just up front, there is no date that has been announced like concretely. We're still going off of speculations, but in this video, we do have some stuff going for us, which we can kind of guess when it's coming out or if it's coming out at all, but yeah, so stay tuned and we'll go over that. As well, we're gonna first go over what we do know about these and shout out to that Pikachu card in that set. That's going for like $70 already, which is insane. So what we do know about this is that the USA got a few days back and they get it in Happy Meals. So in these Happy Meals, you get a booster pack and one of four toys. So there's four versions of it. Or you can buy the booster pack for $1.99 itself. But there's rumors going around that a Pokemon head office is going to shut down buying booster pack on its own because there's a bunch of scalpers that's buying the cases by hundreds and reselling them, which is not fair because all these uh, rest of people can enjoy that, right? And I fully support the McDonald's company doing that because if um, going forward, you had to order it with the, um, the Happy Meal itself. So you, in order to get the cards, you had to order Happy Meal too. So that way, scalpers can't just buy it up all. It makes no sense. So like I said, there are four different Happy Meals you can get. So the first one is going to be the booster pack plus 25 stickers of the, all the starters, which is cool. Another one is the booster pack and you get a deck box, which you can hold your cards in. The third one is you get a booster pack and a Pokemon frame, which is pretty cool. You can display one of the cards, which you think is really cool, which you like a lot. And for the last one, you get four big stickers. It's not bad at all. I can't go wrong with stickers. And in my opinion, out of those four boxes, my favorite is the 25 stickers of all the starters which is super cool, or the frame. Like imagine you get like a cool Charmander holiday you wanna show off, you just put that in the frame, leave it in the back for display. That's pretty cool. All right, let me know in the comments below which one do you think is the coolest out of those four, then. I just wanna know what you guys think. Okay, so that's what we know so far. The USA has it, how much it costs, and what they have. So now the rumor portion of it in Canada. So there's rumors going around that this might come around in the April time frame. And the reason being is a couple of my friends as well asked the uh, managers at McDonald's, uh, stating when will these cards come to Canada and they said April time so going based off that if it's around April time that makes sense because we do get stuff a bit later than everyone else as well I went ahead and messaged the uh, McDonald's Twitter um, account just to see um, if they can give me more information so when I messaged them they said they don't have any further information but stay tuned so by them saying stay tuned, I said, I'm thinking that something is coming, they just haven't worked it out yet. So guys, just stay patient. Don't be paying these scalper prices, which is crazy. They're reselling these packs for $10. I would say just wait it out when it comes to Canada. You can enjoy it and not have to break the bank. And actually some people are also saying that it might not come to Canada, which I don't think it's true. There's like no way it's not gonna come to Canada. It's the 25th anniversary. And a reason why I think it's gonna come to Canada for sure is if you guys remember Vivid Voltage, there was the leaked um, 25th anniversary uh, McDonald's cards and there were French versions of it. So the fact that there's these French Pokemon cards, I'm thinking those French ver versions were made to support the French region in Canada. That only makes sense to me. So if they're getting it there, it means we should also get it all in all of Canada. That's what I'm thinking as well. So we just had to be patient at the end of the day and I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are wondering if we're getting in and freaking out and I honestly want that. Like, at the end of the day, I'm gonna see if I can get myself some from the US because I just want to open some on the channel. And when we do get some more in Canada, I'm gonna go ahead, buy a bunch and open on the channel if you're interested in that or want more amazing Pokemon news. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. This is Trainer Sin, signing out.